All right, in the next 90 seconds, I'm going to help you determine which grip is best for you. So let's start off first with the 10 finger grip. Okay, some might call it a baseball grip. This grip is good for juniors and for women to start off with because it helps you add strength to your game. All right, it's easier to hold on to it. Usually it's made for smaller hands, which is great for women and juniors, and it helps you release the club a lot easier. All right, so the 10 finger grip. As far as overlap and interlock, all right, I and a majority of PGA Tour players are going to overlap it. The only reason I do it is because interlocking hurts my fingers, right? But then you're also going to have great players like Jack Nicklaus and Tiger who interlock. Okay, so that's truly a preference. It's what you want it to be. The big key that you're looking for when you grip it, whether it's 10 finger overlap or interlap, is when you set up to it, we're looking for two main V's. All right, we're looking for this V, which is held in my fingertips, going to my right arm my right elbow there, and then again in my fingertips with my right hand, same V going up my forearm to my right elbow. The biggest thing that you need to concentrate on, especially if you're trying to get more power and to help you release the club better, is you got to hold that club in your fingertips. Too many people hold it deep in their palms because they think they have more control that way. It's actually causing you to lose control because you can't release the club and it's costing you power. So make sure you hold it in your fingertips and then you can just play around with which different style of grip you like and go from there.